डॉक्टर विक्रम हेलो हेलो मिस्टर तंजीम यू हैव रेड यू वर हैविंग द प्रॉब्लम रिगार्डिंग विच थिंग ओके सो नाउ व्हाट्स योर स्टेज Okay. That's great. Now I am eating normal also. Okay. It's <laughs> not good. <laughs> But I'm feeling good. What was uh, what basically Tanjim? I want to know. Here I am in Dubai today, yeah. and I'm sitting with one of the patient who is suffering from who was suffering from ulcerative colitis. Still a little bit left. Yeah. So I want to ask uh, when. Uh, What were the first symptoms when you had this problem? First symptoms in I am in the hospital. In you were in the hospital emergency emergency. Okay. Bloody stool in uh, one day twenty two twenty five times. Twenty five times. Yeah. After fifteen days I am admitted in hospital. Okay. Okay. That time little bit I am okay. Okay. I start the mess. All doctor given me mess of all and home of all things. Home of all things. Home of all things. Zero. That I continues eat maybe eight nine months, but sometimes I feel better. Sometimes again started bleeding and bloody stools. Yeah, bloody stools. How many times you need to go? Oh, uh, maybe after even after taking the cigarettes and alcohol and other. Almost things. eight times nine days. Eight to nine times. Nine times. Still not not much improvement. Not not much improvement. When okay. I start your medicine mm-hmm. after maybe eight months. I start your medicine. I start in uh, okay. After eight months of doing allopathic treatment, yeah. you started the allopathic medicine. I do medicine. Okay. After one month, I feel better. After, after one month, how many times? Now, one uh, two times. Only two times. Two times. Morning and evening. Morning and evening. And how is the stool? It is formed or it is loose or? No, one. Forms to form, forms to. That is a very good thing. Forms to. So I would recommend that we should still not consume too much of uh, non-veg. Non-veg. Yeah. Food, yeah. Because it is uh, really heavy for the collar, for the intestines. Yeah. Really difficult for the. It doesn't give uh, enough uh, time or enough strength to the intestine to heal up. So that's why. So there are so many proteins. And chemicals nowadays in the beef and pork and chicken also, mm-hmm. hormones and chemicals. Mm-hmm. So those chemicals they react to our digestive system. They stay there. Mm-hmm. The 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 non-veg diet is very heavy for our system, mm-hmm. and it stays in the colon, mm-hmm. and it causes the formation of uh, many uh, antibodies mm-hmm. because there are sometimes faulty proteins mm-hmm. our body gets, and there. The body reacts to those proteins. In Ayurveda, this concept is called ama, formation of endotoxins from the di- from the digestive system. Mm-hmm. If you eat something which you are not able to digest, if your digestive fire is not so strong, and then your body develops ama. This is the concept in Ayurveda. Mm-hmm. In modern system, it is called uh, antibodies. Mm-hmm. Auto, it is autoimmune disease. I'll say it better. Mm-hmm. When you are eating something. You, Which is uh, high in protein, mm-hmm. and then your body develops some antibodies against those proteins, mm-hmm. and which the body is not able to digest, and the body start the, those antibodies they start to target the particular organ, and they damage the organ. So that is why technically, but uh, how long I will I not eat the? In my opinion, you should not eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is my opinion. If you can follow that, that is good. That is the best thing. This is my opinion, and to all other viewers also. And Dr. Vikram, as you are in Dubai, yes. there are many mails regarding ulcerative colitis here. So, what is the reason behind that? Yes, it's a very good question. Yeah. Our diet has changed significantly over last few years, maybe twenty, twenty-five, thirty years. You can see everything is now coming in packaged food. Yeah. Everything is packed, especially in Dubai yeah. and modern cities like Dubai and Singapore, where they don't have their own agriculture. Then they import the food for us, and it is all coming in the packaged form. The packaged juices are there, the 
chips are there, the everything, the non-veg diet is there, everything is there. So this, that is the main cause of all this. Yeah, as Arabian like beef and red meat also. That is the main thing. Main problem. Beef and uh, beef. People consume a lot of beef here. Yeah. yeah. So beef is the biggest problem. Not only beef, also the other mm, non-veg non yeah. food. I went to Europe last week and there they eat beef as well as pork together Okay. at the same time and they are also drinking alcohol, a lot of alcohol and eating too much packaged food, cakes, pastries, biscuits and all those chips together. So this is uh, not good for health. Okay. Yeah. It is like uh, you bring the burger from the latest shops. For example, McDonald's or some KFC. Bring the burger, keep it on the table. It stays for three days. After three days, you check it again. It is like the same. Our natural food stays like that. It is plastic. Basically, they put some chemicals in that. It is like a plastic. You are eating. You you burn the 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 chips. It melts like plastic. Yeah. So don't take chips. Don't take burgers. Don't take those. Uh, artificial foods. So this is what I want to Thank you Vic Dr. Vikram. That is not only causing ulcerative colitis, but it is also causing colon cancer, it is also causing cancer of all types because there are hormones, hormonal cancer, breast cancer and all other type of even tumors of every other organ. So diabetes, blood pressure, thyroid, infertility, males and females, obesity, and uh, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, all such problems, gout, all the problems are because of diet. Okay, thank you Dr. Vikram okay. so much.